সবাইকে স্টিমুকর স্নান করতে আসার জন্য স্নানুকর বাংলাদেশ like me uh we have been hearing uh from from our home that we like to do job on we don't like to do business so that's where the our mindset is. we need to change our mindset so that's the main thing uh so uh as i uh, as she mentioned that you know i'm uh, graduated from where actually um hamid and i were in the same batch uh uh from civil uh and then uh, we are very lucky that we managed to have together over there as well so as uh, as you know that i have got one geomatics and engineering company uh, and i've been running it for 8 uh, years now i uh, started back in 2011 the first thing as an engineer uh, you need to know you need to have the experience of engineer you can't really start an engineering company without knowing without having the experience so that's what the problem is you can't start your engineering or geomatics company just without knowing the fact so that's what the problem is. so basically you need to go through the job at the beginning to understand the the fact to have the experience so basically the uh, by first three speakers whatever uh, told please follow those first then you can come to this point So before I talk about entrepreneurship I just want to show you what I have done very quickly so that at least you have some interest to be an entrepreneur. So as you, uh, as you see that uh, this is my uh, new office uh, it's not rented it's actually our own office. So I just would like to emphasize that what you can achieve you know if you want to be an entrepreneur down the road So we are uh, in the uh, Gateway Business Center. So there are two story buildings over here. So we have this unit about 3200 square feet. And what we do over there, just a snapshot, we do all engineering. So multidiscipline engineering. So civil structure, geotech, electrical, mechanical, HVAC and environment. We also have geomatics. So the same as engineering, you have to have a license for geomatics. Today I would like to tell you one thing which I think most of the people you don't know uh geomatics is Alberta land survey like in the province of Alberta there are only 400 Alberta land survey all over Alberta but as we have about 100000 engineers all over Alberta so without only 400 geomatics that means Alberta land survey and you can't use the land surveying this work if you don't have the license for this land survey license in your own company so there is a very good opportunity for the land surveying it's not only in alberta also in ontario everywhere there is a big scarcity of land surveyor and you cannot use this land survey as i mentioned without having the license So as, uh, as I mentioned that uh, we started back in 2011 and uh, this is our office we also have a small office in in Bangalore in Bangladesh So the uh, the main thing is the company safety uh, uh, health and safety policy uh, so if you want to run a business in Canada or all over North America you have to uh, make sure that everything uh, falls under the safety policy and and health over so, yeah. here uh what we do uh, as i just mentioned that uh, uh, this is for the residential client so uh, everybody knows house uh, so what you do for the house so we need a building permit from the city uh city of edmonton uh where hamid works so if we want to build any house uh, for the city of edmonton we need to have a building permit 
So what we do, we do architectural drawing, we do a whole engineering package, and also the legal survey uh, when the geomatics come. I just want to emphasize that in, in, in our company, we provide all the services uh, where the client has to go the architectural package for one company, engineering for another company, geomatics for another company. So all three things coming together under the same umbrella. For the commercial, uh, you need architectural, you need engineering package which includes like all civil, electrical, mechanical, geotechnical, environmental, everything. So we do pretty much everything, you know, under the same umbrella and legal survey as well. Uh, what else we, we offer? Uh, I mentioned to you that we do consulting and from my 17 years experience, what I have learned, if you just do engineering and consulting, there's a big gap, uh, you know, if you don't do the construction management, material testing. So from my experience, I have learned that this is a very uh, promising uh, scope. Uh, that's why I included it in my own company. So we basically do the uh, concrete testing, soil testing, and also the uh, compaction testing. So if you see the roads, uh, you know, any highways, we need to have compaction each and every place. For the city walkway, you need to have a compaction. So for compaction, we use a nuclear densometer. So to get a license from the nuclear commission is not that easy. They're very stringent, and uh, you'll be uh, happy to hear that we have a uh, license. They're affiliated with AMSA, Alberta Construction Safety Association. The next one is that uh, nuclear, uh, Canada uh, Nuclear Commission, so the license we have. We are also affiliated with the Canada Home Builders Association because we do lots of residential and commercial and so on. You want to make confirm? I'm actually asking questions, real questions. I would like to hear from you. When you work, money will come out of money. But you need to have a passion for your work. When you work for a company, you try to learn as much as you can. So, if you just think that, you know, I want to work 8 hours, it's not possible to be an entrepreneur. So, what are the essential items if you want to be an entrepreneur? So, you need to have, as I mentioned, you, you have to work in some companies where you can gain the experience. You have to do initiate, right? It's not easy. So, a successful business will not just happen. It will require you to go above and beyond the norm to make your business work. Be honest, very important. Part of running a successful business is being uh, honest in your dealings with others and earning their trust. You must commit to run a fair and honest business in order to earn trust of others. So it's a long-term thing. So if you commit something, you need to make sure that you are doing it, or if you are not able to do it, Make sure that the other parties knows that you cannot do it because of some un uh, unavoidable reason. Make smart decisions. <coughs> As a business owner, you need to make smart and uh, effective decisions on time. On time, I want to emphasize on this one. If you make your decision not on time, it doesn't work. You listen to everyone, but end of the day, the right decision will be made by you. So you are responsible for your own decision. Continue learning. You have to be open-minded. You need to learn from everybody. Commit to becoming an industry leader in your business. You must commit to always being in the mindset to learn and grow your business. Technology is changing every day and you need to adapt with the new technology. Be positive. Very important thing. You have to be positive. Things will come. Hamid mentioned, Jahid mentioned about the human behavior. Very important. Not only in uh, public sector, also private sector. When you talk, uh, when you go for interview, if the interviewer finds that you are not flexible, mm -mm, stop. You get the job. If you keep changing your job place, just in your resume, if you find, if the employer finds that you keep changing your company too much, 
Mm-mm. Problem. One year every place, not a good idea. Stick to some good company, get the experience. Very important. Over the phone. When you talk to somebody, be confident. Already mentioned by Hamid and Jahid. The, as a Bangladeshi, the main problem of us, we can't sell ourselves. Employer wants to know what you can bring to the company. They are not interested that you need a job. Not interested. Already our senior brother, Dr. Uh, Mr. Masur Askar already mentioned about that. But I want to make it very clear. Employer is not interested that you need a job. Employer is interested if you can bring something to the company. That's what they are for. So we need to sell ourselves. Uh, already Hamid mentioned, we have done lots of things, but we don't know that we can actually tell that, that we, are, actually, we have done it. Very important. So you have to be positive. You have to talk to people. If you just, you know, sit in your room, don't talk to anybody, sorry, it's not possible. Communicate clearly, very important, communication. The first and foremost thing for any interview, for any business, everywhere, you need to communicate concise, properly, so that people can understand what your experiences are, what you can do, what you can achieve. So prompt and clear communication can propel your business in the right direction. You need to be a confident you need to be confident enough to communicate with the stakeholders related to your business. Communication is the number one component for your business growth. So that's all I have. If you have any questions, maybe two minutes, you can ask questions and I should be able to answer them. Yes, for sure. So, if you want to build your own company, there is a financial risk involved. Right. Um, what sort of things people need to be aware of taking that risk? So, Jahid has a very good question, and I have the answer ready. You don't need any single penny experience, you are confident enough to start your business. So this is my, uh, from my own experience, how I started my own company. I started with the survey, even though I was full-time engineer in worldly persons. I worked there for 10 years. I have learned whatever they have given to me. I have learned it, and I started my own company. Whatever there are some challenges, that's why your opportunities. So I started my company as a surveyor. So there is one service called drainage compliance for the city, for the city of Edmonton. Each had one job in my hand that I can survey my own house by myself. So, and then I tried to find three more people so that I can have $1,000 and from that money, I can actually buy one survey equipment. That's how I started. So I actually managed four jobs before I, I, I bought the equipment. So I bought that equipment for $800 from US because in Canada it was expensive. So I bought that and then I did the survey for four houses and I made money, $200. Then I, the first thing, so I did not involve anybody. I did the survey by myself. I did the drawing by myself. I sent it to the city by myself. And it was a proof. And you can imagine how happy I was. I never did that. That was my first thing I did. And in that year, I think I have done 30 houses. And how I did? I finished my office in early persons, 5 or, or 5.30. Then I went for survey. That's why I said, you have to work hard. It's, it doesn't come just, you know, from the sky. So I, 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 I made money even in the first year. You don't need money. You need to work hard. That's how we get it. Anybody else? Thank you very much.